likes of yani, the works of the people of Hadith or the people of Usul and the likes of this. So, and he say, why is it the, it take the ruling of a rafa? Like say the companions say, we used to do this at the time of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Why does it take the, the ruling of a rafa? He mentioned, he say, لِأَنَّ الظَّاهِرْ إِطْلَاعُهُ إِطْلَاعُ النَّبِيِّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ عَلَى ذَلِكَ Number one is the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, he... Yani, yani, he uh, let that happen. But yep, he seen it, he let that happen. And the other reason, Barakallahu Fikum, is wa taqririhim alayhi. He, alayhi salatu wa salam, he, Barakallahu Fikum, has, yani, bear witness to that. And he agreed to it by being silent. So yep, and this is when you find the ulama of, yani, hadith. They will say that the sunnah is three things. You have the sunnah that is, na'am sin sunnah that is al aqwal, the actions, the sunnah in regard to the actions, in regard to the statement, and in regard to the, in regard to no, in regard to the taqrir, taqrir meaning the, the silent agreement, right, the silent approval. So whether the Prophet ﷺ, he's seen it, approve of it by being silent about it. Because as we said earlier, if it is something that is in regard to the religion and someone violates it, he will not delay, barakallahu fikum, the rectification of it. He will write, bring it right there and then. And likewise, the, other, the third one is that giving them the possibility of asking questions in regard to those. Right? Giving them the, the, the possibility to ask questions. For indeed, the companions, they used to sit with the Prophet ﷺ. Shaykh Muhammad ibn Ibrahim, rahimahullah, who was the mufti before Shaykh Abdul Aziz ibn Baz, rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy upon all of them, I mean. He mentioned that what the, the wisdom behind the companions sitting with the Prophet ﷺ was that they used to ask questions and they used to seek guidance from him. Used to ask questions and used to yani, seek guidance from the Messenger. So therefore it was open for them to ask questions. He say Anil Ahkam in regard to the rulings pertaining to whatever was done during the time of the Prophet. We talked about yesterday in regard to the tawasul. A tawasul meaning connecting two days or connecting days. Tayyip, connecting days. Whereas the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, he say that he is not like you. For indeed Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala is the one that feed him and he is the one that quench his thirst. So what we understood from that is that indeed it means that Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala preoccupy his mind, meaning the mind of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, in the contemplating in regard to barakallahu wa fikum, yani the, 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 the verses of Allah or yani in regard to the magnificence of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. So it was not a physical food or drink, but rather it is something that Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala preoccupied the mind of the Prophet ﷺ in any contemplating in the greatness of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala and likewise taking away his any uh, mind thing of in regard to the food and this is even something that we say is like food is a, is, is a mind thing right food is a mind thing sometimes it, sometime it is true you got people that they can go the whole day not thinking about eating you got people that they always have to have something to eat because it's in their mind. It's not because they are hungry, but it is all in their mind. Right? It is all in their mind. So some of the points that we're leaving out, it is because of we will read it at the, at the time that will be more now said in Shah. نعم
Naam, the other matters, Barakallah, are things that we had covered or that we would be able to cover it in the Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who will witness the month of Ramadan. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who not only they will witness it, but they will have the mercy of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala in it. If there was any mistake that I have made, please rectify me. May Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala rectify you all in your issues. Amen. Alhamdulillah, another matter that is important that we, we need to bring light to, shed some light to, is the issue of it, will, it is a time that people would be bombarding other people with sending them text messages. Right? And these are people, Barakallah, they might not even read what they're sending you. It's just like they receive it, bam, they send it. But when you look at some of those messages at the very end of it, you realize it is based on superstitions. It could be a hadith that is sound, it could be a verse, but at the end of it, it could be from the khurafat. And without a doubt, khurafat will lead to shirk. Superstition will lead to shirk without a doubt. For instance, whoever read this benefit, send it to 10 people, you will find this or you will find joy or happiness in your life so you sending that because of that that barakallah fikum is ascribing partner with Allah wa ta'ala, which is no different than having an amulet because a person believes that having the amulet will what will get, protect him or any yani, word of evil or bring any jalb uh, manfa' will bring about good to him right and then repel harm no, de- no difference. Oh, whoever send this message to ten different people to your contacts, you will have this or you will have that. These are from the khurafat. That well, alhamdulillah, some people don't have no business of sending nothing. Some people don't have no business of sending nothing, but rather look in from who the message is coming from. Number one, number two, who is the author of that of that of that article or that text? Is it someone that is known? Is he from the Salaf? Is he from the callers to the da'wah to Salafiyyah? Or is he Mufti Menk or whoever it is from them guys on, 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 on WhatsApp? Or on uh, Facebook or whatever the other one is? Or Siraj Wahaj? Are, them those, are they those individuals? His case is coming, don't worry. Wa sallallahu <clears throat> Those are from the muhdathat kadalik. Sending a text or anybody that you don't oh, forgive me. Why? Because the Ramadan is 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 here. This is shayun. This is something that barakallah fikum. Ma qama bihi salafu salih. It's not something that the salaf was doing. That you're gonna say, oh, you know, forgive me if I wronged you and things like this. When at the beginning of the Ramadan, this is no asl in regard to that. No asli in regard to that. Or oh, forgive me, Muhammad, you know, at the beginning of the Ramadan, this is no asli to that. So those also, barakallah, we have to be very cautious and careful about. Alhamdulillah, when, you re- when I received, when I say I, meaning us, when we receive the likes of those things, barakallah, perhaps the one that sends it doesn't know. So we, we, be, we be diligent and very genuine in regard to at least rectifying it for them. What is the proof for this? If there is no proof from Allah, the Messenger, the Sahaba, please don't be part of something that is an innovation. Don't be part of something that is an innovation. Don't put your name in the silsila. Don't put your name in the chain. Don't put your name in the riwayah. Sheikh Saleh Al-Fawzan Hafizahullah answer that clearly. Inshallah, give me that tomorrow. I will want to read that in detail so I will not miss a point in that. What if they put in uh, like the same, they misunderstand what they put in the same context as like what you mentioned in the class with Sheikh Al-Fawzan Hafizahullah said they can tell before Ramadan TV. 
نعم هذا بينك وبين الله that making the tawbah before Ramadan <coughs> because indeed شهر رمضان شهر التوبة as we will read inshallah from Shia Abdul Razak Al-Badr Hafizahullah he mentioned that شهر رمضان شهر الاستغفار والتوبة we will read that بإذن الله he said the month of Ramadan is a month of seeking repentance and a month of يعني forgiveness asking forgiveness so هذا بينك وبين الله this is between you and Allah تبارك وتعالى without a doubt if I wronged Abdullah I don't have to wait till Ramadan to say, Abdullah, forgive me, I stole your phone last year. I don't have to do that. I did not. Right? I don't have to do that. You understand? If I wronged him, then <clears throat> I got to rectify yani, that which is between him and I. Mubasharatan, at the point of yani, when I wronged him. Right? And we mentioned that, Barakallah, in regard to the repentance or the tawbah, we mentioned those five conditions. One of them is in regard to the rights of the human being. If I took his rights, whether it is his honor that I violated, or whether it is his money, or whether it is his honor, whether it's his family, then I have to ask him for, you know, Akhi, I have done this and this and this. Please forgive me. But, you know, for general, Barakallah Fikum, let's say I didn't see. Uh, Ismail for a whole year I did not even mention his name I didn't have no even thought about him then what's the point of in Ramadan oh it's Ismail forgive me uh, you know Akhi forgive me for what what's the point so all of those things are also umurul ada it is from the customary action that we grew up doing we grew up doing oh balmaq balalaq oh, forgive me I forgive you May Allah Ta'ala make us firm upon Salafiyyah and make us die upon Salafiyyah. Ameen. And guide our children upon Salafiyyah and make them die upon Salafiyyah. Ameen. May Allah Ta'ala make us among those who hold the banner of Salafiyyah. And may Allah Ta'ala give us ikhlas and husnul khatimah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad ala alihi wa sallam. Would you sit down?